And so here is New Orleans. Outside Holiday. Screened by Cousins. New Orleans moving it around. Shoots off the screen. And the Pelicans miss again. That's one he knows he should have drained. And Roberson kicks to West. Oh! I know it's just two, but man, that's a nice two. Westbrook with the insane creativity. Holiday dishes to heel. Cousins, the pass to Holiday. Kicks it to Davis. Evans outside. Davis sets a screen. Pocket six. No good with the elbow jumper. Terrific defense. They definitely read the scouting report on this guy and could not have played him more perfectly there. And he just leaves the D in the dust and, and explodes to the basket. You're right. Uh, maybe a momentum changer right there, huh? If anything could change the momentum, it's that kind of play. Cloud of smoke has people standing on their feet. Cousins with a screen for Davis. Holiday inside the line. He can't get that one to fall. Westbrook with the nice D there. To the middle. Here's Roberson. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. The awareness of Russell Westbrook to locate the open man and deliver a strike. Something he's developing. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That's foul number two for him. Now he has to back off on defense just a little bit. His team cannot afford to have him on the bench at this point in the game due to foul trouble. Healed, kicks to Davis. Well, Westbrook out there playing defense like an interior decorator draped all over him. And Oladipo has it in the corner. Will not drop. He's shooting three for eight and not happy about it. Pelicans leading by three. Here's Holiday. And a big pounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. Holiday's got seven. Oh, that's some fancy ball handling right there. Since when does he take guys off the dribble? Near the three-point line, it's Westbrook. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Cousins has got six rebounds now in the game. Healed with the bucket. Well, that's a beautiful shooting stroke right there. Really a core essential of Buddy Heald's game. The Thunder have gone 8 of 16 from the field in the second quarter. A nice, efficient 50%. It's out of bounds. Oklahoma City able to retain possession here. So for the Pelicans, Jones comes in for Davis and Moore subbed in for Tyreek Evans. On defense, New Orleans. Seven point differential. And Cantor throws it down. Using some brute force to take it strong to the rack. Cantor leaving nothing to chance. And there's DeMarcus Cousins on the assist by Holiday. 14 points here for Cousins. Man, his shot on target, guys. They have the lead right now, primarily because of his effort. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Westbrook. Oh. Here's Holiday. He's got seven. The dish to heal. And Andre Robertson is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Here's Jones. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. He's got seven. Well, that's one of his best attributes is his passes hit guys in stride. Westbrook kicks to Roberson. Back to Westbrook. Fires from 18. Count it. Westbrook's got 26 points. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Holiday dishes to Jones. Feeds it to Moore. He kicks it to Cousins. Pocket six. 
The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. Not phased at all by having a bigger defender on him down low. And I really thought he would be. Well, if he was wearing a badge, if he won a courage, he rose up and actually took that shot. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. A different look for Oklahoma City. Adams, he's checked in for Gibson. And it's Ilya Sova in for Russell Westbrook. Solomon Hill, he's checked in for New Orleans. And just thinking about the way Canner's career has gone, a lot of high expectations early, Brent, and a starting job after he moved team. And I think that might be a key for Cantor in the role of being a scoring big man off the bench. Really can play to his strength, and he can take advantage of another team's second unit, maybe not ready or equipped to handle what he brings to the table offensively. Oh, forget about going for the long-range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the hoop, my friend. And how brilliant throwdown. Here's more. Good. And it's Cousins picking up the assist. Cousins has got his third assist on the night. Thunder trailing by eight. Oladipo for three. It's rebounded by New Orleans. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. And the foul on Victor Oladipo. That is his first foul of the game. Doug McDermott, he's checked in for Cantor. And New Orleans also making a change. Alexis Aginsa has checked in for DeMarcus Cousins. Screen by Jones. Pass to Aginsa. He feeds it to Holiday. Jones, no one around him. And again, no good by New Orleans. Thunder shooting pretty good tonight at 48%. Here's Oladipo. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Oladipo's got 12. Pelicans leading by six. Moore outside. And Hill has it in the corner. 153 left in the first half. And Andre Robertson is going to pick up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. And that's the tough part of trying to keep him on the floor. Now he picks up that third foul. Quincy Pondexter, he's checked in for New Orleans. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pelicans will retain possession. got 148 left here in the second. Hill passes to Jones. He hit one three in the first, but the well has been totally dry for him in the second. McDermott, no one around him, knocks down the three ball. And now just a three-point Pelican lead. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. 16 left to play here in the half. It's stolen by Adams. And here we go with Adams running it up the court. Oh, went in there and tried to power it down. But true contact, he'll head to the line. That's on Terrence Jones. Once a five-star recruit coming out of high school, Stephen Adams has the size and smarts to really become a devastating big man in the NBA. You always talk about glue guys and guys that do the little things to help their team. Steven Adams is certainly that for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Not a big presence in the box to score. But when you watch him play with his team, he's willing to sacrifice his body, set hard screens, and be a presence on the interior. And so Adams nails both of them. And thinking again on Adams, the scoring isn't what makes him valuable, Brandon. It's his defense and his solid screen setting. Well, I, I think it's his idea that the role that he has is something that he's very comfortable with, and he wants to be successful at doing it. He doesn't hurt the team by getting out of his comfort zone.
59 seconds left in the first half of the game. Here's Oladipo, and again, no good by Oklahoma City. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Pass to Roberson. Oladipo against Moore. Oladipo, good. Oladipo's got six in the quarter. New Orleans has gone one of six from three-point land in the second quarter. Less than 20%, but they've continued to let him fly. More. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. Out to the right wing. More against Oladipo. And finished off by Oladipo. Athleticism shown by Oladipo, unquestionable, gets way up. There's 10 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Here's more off target from outside. McDermott doesn't get it to drop for him. And so it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of basketball. Thunder lead by three. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Russell, how confident are you that there's nobody that can stay in front of you? Uh, very confident. Uh, I have a lot of confidence in myself. Uh, I put a lot of work in in the summertime. But I'm very confident. That is never a problem for you, Russ. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. I would call that a competitive first half of action. Ernie Johnson here welcoming you back to the 2K Sports Halftime Show with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. The first quarter didn't play out the way Oklahoma City had hoped. As hard as they tried to compete, they just could not keep pace early and ended the period facing a deficit of nine points. Their second quarter, however, was a monumental improvement. Nothing could stop them. They strung together basket after basket and lead by three now at the half. Kenny, let's get your take on Oklahoma City. Efficiency, you know, I, I think that's big. That's a key to success. You got to protect the basketball. You can't make those risky passes that lead to highlight film dunks. So I thought it was a great job. Shaq, how do you think New Orleans played? They did some good things, but not enough. They need to start being more assertive. Go harder to the rim. Generate some free throw opportunities at the very least. Do something. And that's it for halftime as the second half is just about to get underway. See you after the game. The Skydance Bridge, rising 200 feet above I-40, has quickly become an icon here in Oklahoma City since it opened in 2012. Here we go now, the start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. Well, you look at Russell Westbrook in this game, he has been everywhere. I'll tell you what, he put together an entire highlight reel in that first half alone. Just to